Hey guys, we are back here with the final time with Al. Um, the last thing I wanted to do here is I wanted to talk about some of the things we missed during the show. We were talking earlier about the YouTube ad apocalypse and demonetization. There's a couple, well, there's a YouTuber I follow. I don't know if you watch Philip DeFranco or not. Oh, no, I know. I don't know. Okay. Really. I mean, you I should know check who him he out. is. I've watched yeah. him before. But okay, like, cool. Yeah, yeah, he's good. I like him. But um, there's YouTubers we both watch that uh, have been demonetized for videos that like – it shouldn't be demonetized. Like we both watch secular talk with Kyle yeah. Kolinsky. Yeah. And even though we might not agree with him all the time, he's a progressive. And what's amazing is because he covers sometimes things that might be quote insensitive, even though he's just adding his own opinion on certain things he gets demonetized all the time. And so it's, does Philip crazy. DeFranco. And, and it's like he, he puts out quality content. I mean, like exactly. I watch him like every day and yeah. I, I don't even agree and, with him on a lot of things, but I just right. like his opinions. Yeah. Right. I, I just appreciate what he does. And it's the same thing with Philip DeFranco and many other YouTubers out there that talk about political issues and many other YouTubers out there that just mock what other YouTubers do. And it gets flagged down and it gets demonetized. It's amazing. It's it's crazy. It's like you got to you got to pay your YouTube workers. I mean, they're yeah. essentially, you know, they're keeping people for, from, you know, not not. I mean, they're they're keeping people on the site. It's right. like. They're, they're literally your employees. I mean, you got to pay them. Right? And it's hard because, like, we as the every die are just watching. Like, we can't really do anything about it because YouTube's a private company and they have the right to do that. But at the same time, it's just wrong. Right. Like, right. there I, needs oh, I to know. be somebody that comes over and kicks YouTube's ass and replaces them. Exactly. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I've just been on YouTube for a long time. It's like, I feel like a lot of people like the, the mindset, they're like, you know, I don't want to leave YouTube because it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's like the next, it's just basically Google now. It's yeah. like, it's like no one wants to, you know, start, start fresh and have a new video service. Or I, I know there's like Vimeo, but who cares about Vimeo yeah. or what? And there's, there's like that one, um, I think it's, I don't remember what it's called, but they, they, they've been trying to like start new like video uh, streaming channels like YouTube, but they haven't been a success like YouTube. I mean, yeah. it, it's essentially like Google. It's, it's, yeah, it's amazing popular. how far YouTube has come in 12 years. I mean, people have grown their livelihood on it and then now people they are coming under fire and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know how long it will stay around, but I mean, I like the idea of it. It's great. I mean, it's just a matter of they have to do it the right way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, I'd like to thank Al if you being on. This has been a great podcast. We've been able to talk about a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, thank yeah, you for he, inviting me. Yeah, of course, no problem. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so he, you've got a good future ahead of you, man, in politics because uh, you definitely know more about stuff than I did at that age. And it's always good to be informed when you're a younger person. And I wish there were more people that were younger and that were more informed as well. So thank you very much for being on, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It was, it was a pleasure. It was of an course. honor. All right. All right. Take care, bro. All right. All right, guys. So we are um, – we're going to stay on here. I'm going to play a couple songs real quick for a break, and we're going to get back with my final thoughts. So let me go ahead and go to break real quick.
So I was thinking about playing another song after this, but I actually made an executive decision last minute not to uh, do so. Uh, a couple things I want to apologize for. I know that I stutter a lot when I'm doing this. Uh, somebody pointed that to me last week, and they also said that it sounds like something echoes when I talk a little bit. The reason of that is because it's the preset I have this on with my microphone. There might be another pre- preset I can put this on that where it'll work, where you can hear my voice. But the only way I know of doing it is where I can hear myself and I talk. So obviously when I'm talking, when I can hear myself, it's a little bit behind, which is why I stutter because I'm like trying to catch up. It's like, why am I not saying what I'm just saying? <laughs> so that's the reason why. Um, a couple things I just wanted to go ahead and do real quick. Um, a couple of tweets that jump Trump Trump just put out. Uh, the Democrats seem intent on having people and drugs pour into our country from the southern border, risking thousands of lives in the process. It is my duty to protect the lives and safety of all Americans. We must build a great wall, think merit, and end lottery and train. USA. One thing we didn't talk about, me and Al, is uh, one thing we didn't, I should say, is if we think it's good for Trump to build a wall, I don't, because uh, that's a lot of money that's going towards. Uh, infrastructure and we do need some infrastructure fixtures in this country that could be done privately of course um we don't need a wall though and in my opinion i don't think that's something we should do uh we can deport some people and stuff like that like trump has done Uh, a story that i didn't even mention is the fact that uh in obama's last year of his presidency he deported more people than trump did in his first year of presidency that might sound crazy but look it up it's it's not a it's not false you can look it up. It is a fact. And it's crazy to think of that. But, you know, I'm to change this real quick. But it's just crazy that's the case. I, it's just crazy that Obama deported more people in his last year than Trump did in his first. Okay, so go ahead and do my final thoughts here and then I'll get this show in then because I'm actually going to go bowling tonight. So <laughs> I got to get this going here. So uh, here's my final thoughts of the week. We see a lot of segments in the media about sexual harassment claims, and they just roll with it. I'm not saying that they shouldn't, and I think people should definitely understand that sexual harassment is a problem in this country. Let me make that clear. However, one thing that we never see with these stories is the legal process that is taken throughout these cases. As much as I believe Harvey Weinstein and everybody else that has been mentioned is all, or they're all off of people, we should have evidence for all of these people for what they did. That is the whole point to the legal process in this country. If we are going to make a claim that somebody did something as disgusting as sexual assault and rape, there should be evidence, hardcore evidence, and a trial to go along with it, like there are whenever police kill someone or someone just kills someone in general, like George Zimmerman. We never see that, unfortunately. In this country, it is supposed to be innocent till proven guilty, not guilty till proven innocent. Unfortunately, we get that wrong so much when it comes to African Americans, when it comes to cops killing them, when it comes to them having crimes. We have a really bad justice system in general, and that has to do with many things. Let's not make this one of them. Can we please let the justice system play out where we can see it in the media when there are cases of sexual assault and rape? I pray... I really pray, I'm not even religious, but I pray that we can see more evidence and actual everything go through whenever there are these cases. I'm not denying that sexual harassment and assault occurs. It does. And it's a problem. And as a society, we need to address it as one. But we need to see evidence if people are going to make these claims. That's all I'm saying. And sadly, there are some feminists out there that do not even want to have that discussion. There are also, we also need to have a hardcore definition of what sexual harassment and assault are. Unfortunately, sometimes people view it uh, very vague, if you will. Um, Personally. A lot of people say, okay, if there's a guy at a party, regardless if he's drunk, not drunk, and he has sex with a girl, and she consents to it even though she's drunk, she can't consent to it because she's drunk, that guy technically raped or assaulted her. I think that we need to have a little bit of understanding in this case for both individuals, and we shouldn't be so quick to jump to a claim. 
we should investigate it and we should have a trial. It should be out there in the public for everyone to see if you're the claim is going to be public, period. If you're going to come out and you're going to make an a sexual har- harassment and assault claim, that's very brave of you. But you also need to understand that that's a big claim and that we should have trials and everything viewed by the public. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that do not discuss these the things that happen to them because they are afraid the justice system won't work for them. And it is true that the justice system does not work for a lot of people who do get sexually harassed and assaulted. But it also is something that is not shown in the media regardless if what they are saying is true or false. And all I'm saying is that we as a society should be able to view these people's trials if they are claiming they got sexually harassed or assaulted there needs to be a trial there needs to be evidence i will always be one that sides for innocent until proven guilty and that's just how it is that doesn't make me anti-woman it doesn't make me pro sexual assault or harassment like some feminists will claim it makes me a person who cares about the justice system it makes me an american it makes me a person who believes in freedom and wants to see everything done the right way, period. And that's my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Um, I'd like to thank Al once again for being on. I haven't don't have a person for next week yet, so if anybody is interested in being on, feel free to go ahead and message me on this YouTube video or send me a message to my Instagram, at A2Jack, my Twitter, or my Facebook. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button on this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Until next week, peace out.